If you are a developer, then you must have heard about the terms package and plugin. But what is the difference between them? Most of the students and developers don't know the difference between them and they consider both of them equal. But there is a difference between them and it's a big difference. So hey there, this is Akshit Madan. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the difference between a package and a plugin. And I'm going to take example or I'm going to make this video with respect to Flutter because I'm a Flutter developer and I think that I'll be able to explain clearly and more precisely the difference between a package and plugin with respect to Flutter. So if we start with a package, so packages are mostly, if I take example of Flutter, then packages are mostly written in Dart or they are totally written in Dart, right? On the other hand, if we talk about plugins, they also have native code written, right? So if we take example of plugin and uh, some of the plugins which I can remember right now in Flutter are share plugin and uh, URL launcher plugins. So both of these plugins, the code which is behind these plugins have native code. For the Android, some Android developers would have written the native code. For iOS, for making these plugins work in iOS, some iOS developers have, would have written some code in Swift or Objective-C. And, and in Android, they must have written the code in Kotlin or Java, right? And if you want to make this plugin work for web or Mac OS applications, desktop application, Windows application, Linux application, because Flutter supports all these things, right? So if you want to make these plugins work for these platforms also, then you must have uh, all these developers, the Linux developers, Mac OS developers, Windows developers to work on this plugin and make it compatible with all those platforms also, right? But instead of uh, like, if we talk about packages, packages don't need them and packages support all the platform because packages are mostly containing the UI code, right? So if I'm making, I recently created a package called social media flutter. So you must have seen some uh, uh, social links at the bottom of the websites mostly where you have the link, Instagram links, then Facebook uh, social links and Twitter links, right? So basically to uh, redirect the users from your website to their social handles. So I've created a package for that. So from that package, you just need to import a class and that is going to give you the respective social icon with the link behind it and a placeholder text, right? So this is a package. It is only containing the UI code. It is only containing the Dart code, right? It is not containing any code that is written in Objective-C, Kotlin, Java, Swift, or any native site coding language, right? It is not using, it is just using Dart. And one more thing I would like to add over here that packages can use plugins, but still they will be called as packages, right? Again, if I just repeat myself, packages can use different plugins, plugins which are written in Dart plus any native site coding language. Packages can use these plugins, but still they will be called as packages because if I talk about development of a package, you are not writing the native code. Someone else has written the native code in the plugin and you are just uh, using that plugin, right? So the package which you are writing is not using a native code, it is using the plugin which is using a native code, right? So a package can use plugins, but still it will be called package. So this is a basic doubt uh, that most of the students have, most of the developers have. And all your packages, if you are creating a package, it's a very easy. If you want me to create a package in front of you in a coding tutorial, you can write in the comment section, I'll make a coding tutorial of a package or I'll make a coding tutorial of social media flutter only, uh, the package which I just wrote in a few days back, I also put an Instagram story, right? So after creating your package, you can publish your package and plugin on pub.dev and it's a very easy process. After creating the package, it will just take you a minute to publish your package on pub.dev. You will get an email that your package is published and that's it, right? So we will do this, all these things in our tutorial if you want me to create. So I hope that you like this short doubt clearing session video. And if you want such more videos, write in the comment section, like the video, subscribe to my channel and till next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.